Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 2. Said with a, a long F, <laughs> if that is possible to be a literary or vocabulary thing, I've just invented it. The long F. <laughs> what? Big pardon? The children's show. Not by any means is it a children's show, but uh, welcome back. I think we have this, this uh, one... Just this one race left in our Audi RS3 Sportback situation here. This is the Super Duper Hatchback thing, championship or whatever. I think we, we made a good car here. Oh, Super Hot Hatch, I apologize. Super Hot Hatch. It looks as though as it just recently rained, so the surface is moist. But that should be all right. We have one heck of a launch here. That is, of course, if I had remembered to rev the engine before the race began. But here we go. Yeah, I think this is... Is this not the last event in this series? Of which I think we've won already. And this is a lapped event. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, I'm taking things <laughs> incredibly poorly to start things off with. It's been a little bit since I've raced Forza Horizon 2. Oh, hell's blazes. Back on the road, please. There we go. All right, that's the turn we get everybody in. It has been doth declared and whatnot. <laughs> and whatnot. Oh, squeeze! Get squeezed! Get juiced! <laughs> Ooh. Power out of that one. Very nice, very nice. Skill point earned! How many skill points do we got now? I, I want to get the, the discount thing is the one I want, I think. There's a discount, a 10% discount. Where did I get that one? I don't know. See, now, now why... Why is the top of my car, the roof of my car, wet when it is clearly not raining? It has rained, but it is no longer raining. Whoa, that guy took a shortcut. I guess technically the spray from the other cars would be getting the car wet, but... Hardly, hardly seems like a substantial amount of water we're dealing with. Regardless, slid into first. Lid around that corner, good gravy. Ooh. It's getting getting risky. Whoa! Take that! You and your dang illumination. Talking to the light pole. Tap the brakes. Slide around the corner. Good lord. This car is a little bit bonkers. I think it does a little bit better on wider, those, those mountainside, or uh, not mountainside, the cliffside uh, tracks and races, as opposed to these tighter loops we're going through here. Ah! Shot with a brick roll! Wow, I am... Once again, trouncing. Maybe I should, instead of disabling flashbacks, maybe I should increase the difficulty? I think I'm, I'm learning, like, on pro difficulty. I don't know how many more levels of difficulty there are that exist. Of course, then I worry about being completely trounced in all the championships. But that's not a problem here. 20 points! And no input from Brent, Ben. Or Bren, whatever his name is. Yeah, 76 points. I must have gotten in second at some point, but... Yeah, that was the end. That's it. Oh, there he is. You just keep ticking off Wake up, guy. Wins. So I think there's only one championship left. Until... Yeah! Until we unlock the Verizon, Verizon finale. 
11 G's. That's a decently looking car. A decently looking car. I know in the past few episodes I've been discussing vehicles in real life. Uh, that Audi looks nice. Obviously, that's the like super sporty, expensive model. But I've I've been I've been. Uh, hey guys. Hey. That's it for Castelletto. I'm talking. We'll regroup at the hub when you're ready to move out and head on to the next stage. <laughs> Zip it, Ben. All right. Uh, I have been informed as to the existence of BMW. BMW's, uh, I suppose you could call it... Oh, Hell's Blazes! Are we still here? Are we still alive? Okay. My game just froze there. Uh, their entry-level vehicle that is known as the X1. It is... pretty... simply to say it's not an SUV, it's not even a crossover. It's a, they're a hatchback, really, and uh, I would say that it pretty obviously uh, competes with the the um, uh, what, what am I what am I trying to say? What are the words that are trying to come out of my mouth? The uh, Mercedes GLA, In 400 yards, you know, kind of too right. small to be considered a full wagon too low to be considered a crossover or an SUV, right. but potentially all-wheel drive. The nice thing about the, the BMW X1, I've, I've noticed, is that you can, you can find them mildly used. They seem to be used a lot as uh, dealership, like, courtesy cars, and then after a year they put them up for sale, so you can find 2014s for about the price of a brand new Subaru Outback. Of course, not quite the interior space of a Subaru Outback, but you have arrived a lot more luxury, slightly anyway, I suppose you could say. A lot more power, definitely. That's the one thing that kind of made me go, hmm, yes, hello, how are you? <laughs> but I don't know, I still am up in the air. <laughs> up in the air, for sure. But what's our next, uh... What, what should we do next? Oh wait, did I have... I should look at my garage cars, actually, is what I should look at to see what I have available. Super GT. I don't own any Aston Martins yet. Perhaps I could do that. But let's let's first look at our garage. Hey there. Hey! Well, ah, not much. Okay, this was the car we found in the barn. So I will collect it. I will collect it for my own. All done. Sorry it took so long, but you try sourcing a radiator for a car that went out of production in the 50s. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Killed me a little bit inside. Uh, Alright, let's go back. I've collected it. Uh, I don't know. I, I just did the 57 Chevy. I don't think I want to do a another classic car again. Um, Yeah, this is going to be like the last... The last... Of the Mohicans. No, the last championship we do before the Horizon finale. Um, hmm. Oh, I did. I won the LFA. Let's see what we can do with the LFA. That's a weird looking car if I've ever seen one. Maybe that can go into the GT, the G -G -G -G, the GT championship. All right, let's get in the car and see what... What... Uh, Championships we can join with this thing. Um, let's paint it really quick. Ooh. Oh, white seats. That's a strange choice. It's gonna show every single butt mark you could possibly have when you sit down and get up every single time. All right, let's look at manufacturer colors. Three different shades of white. Um, ooh. Ah, ew. <laughs> ooh, red is nice. That red, not so much. And then the brown. <laughs> the poop color. I like this red. It's kind of a... A mauve, if you will. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I think a black wouldn't look too great, because then you lose the contrast and the black 
panels. Vents or whatever those things are. Alright, let's go with the red. I will just stick with that. Save to current car. And, uh... Let's see what championships we can join with this thing. Yep. Got it! Alright, and now... I want to... Select the championship. All right, what? Current car, supercars. Uh, seventh. What? Did I already do this? But I came in seventh. Is that actually what happened? I'm confused. Okay, it said current car. Hyper Cars Championship. I've already done a hype. What? <laughs> I'm really confused, guys, as to the the sequence of events here. Sequence. Um. Didn't didn't I do this championship? Yeah, with my Subaru. Why is it not telling me what I've done in the past? Tell me the things that I have done in the past, my friends. I am, I am incredibly confused. 90s rally? Modern? I've, huh. Can I, huh. I kind of want to drive the LFA. It's kind of a weird looking car. So apparently I'm, I'm led to believe, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure you will, but I'm led to believe that I've tried modern supercars before, but I came in seventh place. Possibly with the Ferrari. Yeah, I don't, I, I ended up not liking the Ferrari. Due to reasons. <laughs> so let's try, I guess we're going to try it over again, but with the LFA? I think? That's what's happening? I've, and it's raining for a road trip, who would have thought? Who would have thought that it'd be raining really great driving for a road trip? That last race was intense. Now the next stop on this road trip is taking us over to Montelina. Oh, and those people <gasps> lying on the street are waiting to see your rides. So give them something to shout about. Okay, that is a weird dash. There's like a lot of negative space on the dash. Am I wrong in thinking that? Turn like, around. <laughs> what is? What's all that gray space? Is that like just a big L LED screen or something? Whoa! Yeah, this will this will need some upgrades. Ha! <laughs> it's very very slippery. And does it just have one wiper? I'm very confused about the wiper configuration. There's like two arms, but only one wiper blade. I'm questioning your design choices, Lexus. Oh God! Lexus, speaking of which, vehicles has a hatchback, but it is unfortunately simply a a rebadged Prius. It's a I forgot what it's called, like the 300H or 200H or something. I think it looks all right, actually, to be honest with you. It's it's a, a lower to the ground hatchback, but I think it looks okay. It's just that it's only a hybrid, right. which I will be having none of. Thank you. But yeah, since Toyota obviously makes the Prius, they also own Lexus, so they're pretty much on top, I'm assuming, I think anyway, at least of the majority of the Prius. Uh, hey! You jerk! The, the Prius uh, base, they basically made the Lexus. 200H? 300H? Might not even be H, might be a different letter in there. All right, going through. Turn right. Oops, I missed my turn. I missed the turn. That's fine. We can just. I can see the road up there. We're fine. Hey. Yep. There it is. Sort of got it. You take out the fence. That's fine. All right. As intended. Oh. 
Okay. That's a tree. That's a tree. That's a tree. Oh, I missed it. Not this one, though. Oh. <laughs> Avoid one tree only to smack dead first into, into the next one. I should have had a little knob on the right-hand side. I should have had it in wet mode earlier on. Wet mode. <laughs> Moist mode. Moist mode. <laughs> that, that's what somebody should do. If you're designing a car and you have like a rain traction mode, instead call it moist. Because people will be disgusted to look at the word moist on their dashboard. Moist. It's gross. Unless you're describing a cake. <laughs> it's a gross word. Welcome to the modern supercar championship. This one I'm always draws big crowds. Pretty sure I did this once already. Race with a potential for Ferrari versus Lambo is always going to draw people in. Oh, I'm in Alexis. Right. Sorry. The race, my friend. Uh, they're all seemingly off-roady races, except for this one. So let's choose this one first. Uh, but then we're first actually going to have to do some upgrades. Oh, spin for a prize, actually. Instead, we're going to do some gambling. Mm, big money, big money, big money. That's how we won this car. Is there a transit van? Is a transit van a prize? Did I just see that go by? Really? It's because I spoke ill of them in an earlier situation. All right, let's upgrade this right. car. So what are we doing to your ride today? Uh, wheels, supposedly, are the first thing we should be doing. Ooh, it apparently already has some some good tires on it, so we'll upgrade to the race tires. Thank you very much. I'm sure the width is fine. Let's reduce some weight with some... Oh, actually those first ones look all right. Maybe I should go with black to match the rest of the black accents on the vehicle. Although I don't like... See, if I was going to buy some, like, aftermarket rims, I wouldn't want, like, their frickin' logo to be plastered right in the center like those are. Boy, that's annoying. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm buying, buying some wheels. I'm not advertising for you guys. Specialty. Ooh. Oh. Those are interesting. Again, keeping with the, the dock thing. Oh, I like how indented they are. I'm sure there's a technical term for wheels that have, are indented as opposed to out dented like these are. Oh, these are kind of dark as well. I should probably look at the tires <laughs> when I'm actually changing them. No, I kind of like those uh, first ones that I saw here. All right, where are they again? Up, up, up. There we go. Probably not the best weight reduction, but they look interesting anyway. All right. <laughs> All of my upgrades are aesthetic only. Um, is there anything... Aerodynamic we can do. Ugh. That improves braking, but not much else. And this is another one of these cars that has a flappy... Doesn't it? It has its own, like, actuated spoiler in the back. No, thanks. I'll keep things fairly stocked there. Alright, so now let's... Can't upgrade the brakes, so apparently we have the... The best brakes money can buy. Let's just do... Ooh, that really... Let's do a little bit. Oh, I should keep an eye on what class I am. Oh, 900 already! Well, damn! Uh... Yeah, if I do any power stuff... It's gonna put me... into S2. I mean, this is pretty good already, except for the speed. Everything's in the eights. You know what? Let's let's do this. Some some minimal upgrades to make things uh, definitely better handling-wise. And uh, we'll we'll work with this. Yeah, that seemed to be the only thing I could notice on the drive over here. Was the handling was a little bit lacking, as far as the the grip was concerned. I turned right. You're telling me the wrong things.
Yeah, oh god, that's actually kind of an ugly one. <laughs> the, I'm talking about the wing in the back, it's like a shelf. <laughs> a shelf just raises from the back. Please, put your books upon this shelf to display. Oh, it doesn't flip up for an air brake either. Yes, and I'm curious, if I had attached the aftermarket spoiler, I'm, I'm assuming that one wouldn't have raised. Right? Am I right? Oh, now they're asking me, are you sure? Um... Oh, actually, the... The Ferrari is slightly better. Slightly. Just slightly better. Yep, got it. Modern supercars. Scrambled eggs. I have returned to this championship for yet another attempt at failing for it. <laughs> oh boy, should I take a picture? Oh man, terrible launch. That might have been mostly my fault for jamming the gas. Hopefully, whoa! Hopefully we make up for it with our handling. Oh! So far, that does not seem to be the case. This is a, a lap race. Oh, I had no idea. I thought it was a... Hell's blazes. I thought it was a... Uh, a one-way race. Yee! Yeah, this really doesn't like to get uh, drifty on me anymore. Whoa, that guy's having some engine problems. Thank you. All right, there's three laps and we're just now getting done with the first lap. So we're up to sixth. Not too great. Oh, Lord. Skill point. Another one? How many do I got banked already? That was a kind of a wild recovery. I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Hmm. Okay, that really upset my vehicle. I don't think so. Oh, but this guy squeezed around us. The guy who was having engine problems before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. I might just need to bite the bullet and upgrade to get into the S2 class, because I don't... I don't know. It's one of those things. Can't be 100% sure what your opponents have done. I'm just going to follow their path through here and not lift, although then this happens, damn it. See, I don't understand how they can take that so fast. Because <laughs> clearly they tend to upgrade for speed versus handling. Oh, yeah, I, gotta, I think I got to, especially the transmission, I'm having like really terrible time accelerating. Just a terrible, terrible time accelerating. It's gross. Go, 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 gadget, Lexus, or something. Oh, balls. No. God, I'm pretty sure my Audi could probably beat all these cars. At the rate I'm going around here. Hmm. Good thing I didn't increase the difficulty. Fifth. I'm going to end up in seventh again, aren't I? Hmm. All right, that's points on the board. 
Keep it together. You'll win this next race. Let's see, they're all S900s. There's even... There's a Lexus that's S... Why am I even... I, <laughs> it's, 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 it's an arcade racing game. It's not like they're really accurately comparing the speeds of the cars and the handling in different aspects. Yep, got it. Got it. I've got a bunch of, like, skill points. Oh, what a... I probably just spent a bunch of money and I could have gotten 10% off. Dang it, I forgot my coupon at home! <laughs>